In this lesson, I will explain how to work with shared parameters and what is their purpose. So, if I want to attack this door, for example, I go to Annotate tab and select Tag by Category. Now I point at this door. I don't have any tag loaded yet, so I will fast load one. And when it's loaded, I just place an annotation. Uh, annotation consists of uh, of parameters, of labels that are connected with properties of elements that it's annotated. So uh, door have certain parameters that are connected to the stack, and in this case, this stack connects with a mark uh, mark parameter, right? If I change it to 100, it will update on annotation. But uh, there are many cases that uh, we want to add additional data, not only into the label, but also to the object. So, so what we have to do is to create a short parameter. If you are a beginner, you may think that there are many uh, parameters and uh, you can find in the instance in the properties window also in the type properties windows and that this is enough but it's unfortunately not the case and sometimes you would have to add additional data to the objects so this is the first purpose of first and main purpose of shared parameters so how to create them let's imagine that i want to add war warranty date to this door and also to this label so what i do is go to edit family uh, mode, go to VG, I would like to see reference planes and automatic sketch dimension, this way I feel like I'm uh, in an edit mode more, uh, and uh, I click label. There are many parameters that I can add, which I uh, mentioned of about before, uh, but if I want to create a new one, I click new here. I can select a uh, short parameter file path it's a txt file um, and i can create one and save it for example in a desktop you give it a name and if you are working in a team probably a person who is responsible for creating standards already created such short parameter txt file which is stored somewhere uh, on your server where all the users can access it. Uh, so now I could create a group, for example, information. I give it a name and create parameter. It is important to choose smartly this discipline and type of a parameter because I couldn't, I can't edit it later on. So I give it a name. Discipline will be common. It's not applied to any other, um, any other discipline and it will be text format okay there are many windows you uh, may feel a bit confused at first but uh, once you create your first shared parameter it would be uh, very easy so now i have a warrant warranty on my list i add it and place it for example above this uh, mark door mark i load it back into the project override existing version and there is a question mark visible, uh, which tells me that, first of all, this data is empty and this parameter is not filled, but uh, on top of that, it doesn't exist uh, even in the project. And that's because when I go to properties tab, I can't find it anywhere uh, in here or in edit type mode. So the next step after creating shared parameter will be adding it into a project. I go to Manage tab, Project Parameters, and click Add. I can choose between uh, Project Parameters and Shared Parameters. In this case, I will have to use Shared Parameter because uh, these two elements are um, in, in two different places. First of all, in a tag, and secondly, in an um, in a object. So if we want to maintain relationship between these two elements, uh, we have to use shared parameter. So I select uh, shared 
choose warranty there is only a one parameter created if you uh, work in a team there will be probably much more uh, longer list there and um, I can also choose where to group this parameter I will choose identity data this will be an instance parameter and the important thing is to um, apply this parameter to the uh, correct category in this case doors okay but I can actually add add it to other elements as well for example plumbing fixtures okay now I can fill this fill this uh, parameter I will look for it under identity data as I uh, added it to this this subcategory and now I've created additional uh, non-graphical information I also added this to plumbing fixture and as you can see warranty is also visible in here So we don't have to create shared parameters through annotation, through family mode. Of course, we can create all it also in a project by clicking shared parameters, new, and give it a name. Uh, what's important is that uh, you can also see the shared parameter in a shadow. So when I create door shadow, there will be a warranty column possible to um, there will be warranty option there will be warranty field that I can there will be warranty field that I, that I can add to the shadow right so you can use use um, shared parameters in many many options and uh, you just have to remember that the uh, Revit is not limited uh, to the information uh, which is which is very useful we can also we can always add additional data to each ob object 